Hey guys, welcome back. This is Brown from the BTN HD, and yes, like I said on my last uh, BTN HD update video, I'm going to start getting into SCCM, and uh, I already started the series with you guys, but I just never finished it, so let's get started. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure the endpoint protection role within your SCCM environment, and then I'm going to break it down into parts because it's a huge topic. So the first step that we're going to do is configure. So we want to open up our console. Okay, you want to go to administration, and within administration, go to overview. Uh, you're going to expand or get inside your site configuration node. We want to get into your server and site system roles. Awesome. You, it's a couple ways that you can do this. You can right click here and go to add site system roles, or you can click on your home button and just click on add site system roles. Once you click on that, you're going to get this nice little dialog box to add a site system role. Uh, leave everything as the default. You don't have to change anything. We're going to click on next. Uh, I'm not going to be using a proxy in my infrastructure or my lab at least. And we're going to click on next. From here, we're going to pick the import protection point role. And you're going to get a nice little uh, warning dialog box. It's going to say, by default, the import protection uses configuration manager software updates to deploy anti wear definition updates. Before you deploy endpoint protection client, ensure that you have configured software updates in your hierarchy or configure your, your anti-malware policies to use an alternative definition update method. We're going to click OK. Awesome. We're going to click on Next. Uh, we got to accept the terms. Uh, read this if you want. Click on Next. Uh, I'm going to leave the default for now. I'm going to leave it as a basic membership for Windows 10 and above that because that's what we're going to be doing uh, throughout the series. We're going to be deploying Windows 10. Yes. And also pretty soon I'm going to be integrating my MDT stuff within my uh, SCCM. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we're going to click on next on that. And you got a nice little confirmation of all the settings that are going to happen. Once we click on next, it's going to start working and doing its magic. And once that's completed, hopefully you get all green check marks, and that's a good thing. So what's going to happen now behind the scenes, your server, your SCCM server, is going to be getting the endpoint protection client. So eventually you're going to see a client pop up over here at the taskbar. So don't worry about it. It's normal. It takes a while for that to happen. And that's it, guys, for part one. Again, I have to split it up into small little parts for you guys, uh, so I won't lose you. <laughs> And uh, leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button and catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.